Greetings, fellow travelers. It's Matt from William Henry with another peek behind the curtain here at our studio in Oregon. I hope this message finds you well. And for this installment, I wanted to go back to a material I have touched on before, but I really love it. Uh, and I want to talk about it again, which is turquoise, but more specifically, the turquoise that we use at William Henry, which is zinc matrix turquoise. So a little bit of background. We actually get our material directly from the Kolbaugh family that operate the Kingman mine. And the Kingman mine just outside of Kingman, Arizona is the still the most famous turquoise mine in modern and recorded history. And in fact, turquoise was being harvested and mined from that area over a thousand years ago um, by Native Americans. And turquoise in general is one of the decorative stones, one of the gemstones that is quintessentially North and Central American in its history. That is still where most of it is found, and it was part of sort of the fabric of this greater geographic area long before there was the United States or the colonial um, footprint had even really showed up here. So, anyhow, yeah, you fast forward to modern time, and Kingman Turquoise is a brand. It is a distinctive blue. There's also other parts of the area that are now in that mine that are producing really distinctive greens. It's really beautiful, and in the world there is turquoise and there is Kingman turquoise. So the Kolba family now owns uh, the Kingman mine, and we work directly with them. And what they're doing, which really excited me, is I love turquoise, but I don't like uniform blue. Um, I want variation, I want intrigue, I want web, I want drama. I want um, um, from one piece to the next for there to be something about it that's always different and that makes it distinct. So what they're doing is taking these raw chunks of Kingman turquoise from their mine and then recombining them in a liquid zinc matrix, infusing all of that together so that when you're done, you've got a basically a zinc web running through these chunks of raw Kingman turquoise. And it's beautiful and it's really structurally um, sound. It makes a really strong uh, final piece of stone, which is great in terms of how we're going to use it. And you'll see it on our pocket knives. You'll see it on writing instruments. We'll do it on money clips on occasion. And increasingly, uh, where we can, we're doing it on jewelry, including jewelry in a zipper pull that attaches to our, our small leather goods now. So, you know, here's a ring that I wear on occasion, sort of a modern uh, signet ring with that beautiful turquoise. And, um, and here I just wanted to show you what I've been describing. So this is this big block of reconstituted zinc matrix turquoise. So all of the blue that you see are raw chunks of turquoise, but all of that silver and that silver webbing that you'll then see in our finished product is that sort of zinc alloy that matrixes its way through. But when it's combined, it's a very heavy, super strong block of sort of zinc matrix stone that we can then slice and begin to process into a part for whatever it is that we're gonna make. So we're tapping into this history that's both specific to our greater geographic area of North and Central America, almost all turquoise is California, Arizona, Nevada. Um, still, also the Kingman mine and all of that history in the Kingman turquoise, but then sort of a modern take on it and a twist that is both structurally really great, um, it's very strong, it's very durable, uh, visually it's really striking, one piece to the next because of how it's made, it'll never look the same. So it's looking back and looking forward and exactly the right thing at this moment. So that's Zinc Matrix from William Henry. We love to use the stuff, we're gonna continue to. The guys that do it are playing around with other combinations of really cool things that they're mining and then recombining in that same area. So you never know what'll show up next from them to us. In any case, thanks as always for uh, spending a little time with me. We'll see you next time.